We begin tonight with the breaking news. President Biden announcing sweeping new vaccine mandates for millions of Americans. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with more. Dick. Well, Dana, we can tell you the plan from the president will cover some 100 million Americans. He signed an executive order mandating federal workers get the COVID vaccine with no exceptions. Previously, they've been given the option to be tested instead. It would also cover government contractors who work with the government. We've been patient. But our patience is wearing thin. President Biden making it clear it's time to ramp up pressure on the people who haven't gotten vaccinated. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? We've made vaccinations free, safe and convenient. In addition to increasing vaccination rates, the Biden plan includes more protections for vaccinated Americans, increased testing and masking requirements, improving care for people with the virus, protecting the economic recovering, and keeping schools safely open. And he's also putting pressure on private companies. I'm announcing that the Department of Labor is developing an emergency rule to require all employers with 100 or more employees that together employ over 80 million workers to ensure their workforces are fully vaccinated or show a negative test at least once a week. Mr. Biden blasted the governors of some states that he says are blocking progress, and he demanded that states allow vaccine requirements in schools. I'm calling on all governors to require vaccination for all teachers and staff. Some already have done so. But we need more to step up. Vaccination requirements in schools are nothing new. They work. The president also says he'll be increasing penalties for the people who don't wear masks in places like planes. In the TSA will double the fines on travelers that refuse to mask. If you break the rules, be prepared to pay. And by the way, show some respect. Mr. Biden also said he's made deals that rapid test kits be sold at cost by some retailers and up to 35 percent price reduction. And he says there will be an expansion of free testing at 10,000 pharmacies around the country. Dana. All right. Strong words. Thanks. Thank you.